Welcome back to Prairie Dog Land Saskatchewan. I'm Quentin here, and today I'm going to be making a text based game in C. The game's going to be about a mine that, that the players just purchased, and then they are mining for gold and silver, and etc. So, <coughs> we'll start by doing a council application, and we'll go with yep, C, and then we type Quentin's text. Based game, and then we click next. Finish. All right, so now we'll need iOS stream, which we already have there, and then we'll need string. We'll do stdlib. Dot h, and we'll do. We'll include some time. Alright. And then we'll include window. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. We'll, ugh. we'll include some we'll include Windows H. So then we'll go using aim space S T D. We'll have void mine. Work now go string user because we'll be using user for the input that we give the computer. Now go init main. And we'll need to give some int values here, so we'll give gold, gold, silver, and we'll do money hp morale and supplies so we'll start off by giving these awesome values here all the all the integer values so now gold will equal zero yeah silver Equals zero because when you start the game, you're not going to start with much really. I think I got them all. So I'll go, go see out. I'll go welcome to the er to the ermine mines and then. New line. Please select the difficulty. So one for easy. Two for medium. Three for hard. And line. So now we'll go send user. That's what we defined earlier. And then if user equal equals one. Then the H, HP will equal <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Then we'll give him ten HP or I will be at one hundred percent and we'll give him a bit of money will equal say five. Alright now and then we'll do the same thing for the other ones. Alright, we probably didn't have to put in the money there but it'll just help keep things straight in my head anyways. So I'm go while user whoops user and then we'll put exclamation mark equals which is 
not equal to say q q for quit whoops i'm gonna do two lines like that or what stands for or and then use or exclamation mark equals so it's not equal to and i'll do a little q then we'll have <coughs> user equals just brackets that says user equals input so then we'll call a function our mind function here <coughs> whoops and then we'll add a return zero all right, so now we'll go down here and go void mine. Start by clearing the screen. CLS, and we'll go count. sleeps and then this this kind of give it a bit of animation which will be kind of nice we'll go sleep 1000 <coughs> all right let's see what happens when we, we compile and run this <sighs> all right I'm, I'm pretty sure i just forgot the brackets there let's see if that fixes it Whoops. Must have missed a sleep somewhere. One thousand. So it looks like we got some stuff started here. That's all that I've got time for today. So join me next week as I'll be working on part two here. I think this, this product will take a bit of time, but we're off to a good start here. So I'll see you next in the next video.